The reason, of course, that we're here tonight is to listen to a true patriot. He's an author. He speaks all over the world. He's a constitutionalist. And he's a supporter of the people. He challenged the status quo. He went against the government in the Brady Bill bunch. And he won. He's a man who truly believes that the government should exist to protect the freedoms of the individuals from which it serves and not vice versa. Please welcome retired Douglas County, Arizona Sheriff Richard Mack. Just one mistake right there, it's uh, Graham County, Arizona. I know, it, but Douglas County keeps coming up all the time because that's where I'm speaking tomorrow, in Oregon. So, they've done so much advertising, they think I'm the sheriff there now. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, I'll tell you what, it's wonderful to be here. It feels like I'm in Arizona still. <laughs> I don't know what you Northern Californians are doing with this hot weather, but uh, you know what? Uh, if the Founding Fathers can uh, devise a Declaration of Independence in the heat and humidity of Philadelphia, we can sure devise freedom right here in uh, Redding, California, in a little bit of heat. Yeah. You know, yeah. We're just going to keep drinking and uh, whatever we have to do to uh, make this happen. Um, I really want you to know I appreciate being here. Uh, I, I really love America and, I, and I, I'm so happy to be able to travel the country and see people like you all across the country. Uh, I've already been to Texas two or three times and Michigan and Ohio and New Mexico and Idaho and everybody feels the same way overwhelmed at the huge disconnect between the people and the power grab in Washington, D.C. And back when I was a sheriff in Arizona, the federal government tried to force the sheriffs in this country to work for them for free and uh, participate in a federal gun control scheme, as you were talking about, known as the Brady Bill. And I was the first sheriff in the United States to file a lawsuit against this to stop it and to say, you know what, the federal government has gone too far. We're not going to accept this anymore. And now, um, they have gone too far to the tenth power. And I'm here to tell you there is an answer. And the solution lies right here in, with some of the people that they just introduced. Uh, a local mayor or assistant mayor, uh, county commissioner, and people here in your backyard are the answer. Do not pretend or waste any more time and money on Washington, D.C. politics. There is no answer there. In fact, it's the most corrupt place on the planet. Forget it. Okay? Now, um, one, one follow-up with that is... I'm an investigator, and I've investigated this thoroughly. And if God doesn't strike Washington, D.C. down, then he owes Sodom and Gomorrah an apology. You know? Now, my investigation just came up with that. And so, you know, that's just the way it is. Now, real briefly, I just want you to know, afterwards, uh, I've got to get to uh, Roseburg, Oregon. Okay? But I will sign books for you afterwards uh, until they're gone, okay? So make sure you get these, and, and most of what I'm going to be talking about is, is the book, this one, The County Sheriff, America's Last Hope. And I not only, I not only came up with this at the, uh, at the lowest point that anyone would think there is any hope. And when was that? It was during the last year's election. 
It, it, it seemed totally hopeless and totally worthless to all of us, didn't it? And, and you know, at first, and, and I'm a true constitutional patriot, but the truth of the matter is, at first, I really liked Barack Obama or Barry Sotero, whatever his name is. Um, and, and why would I like him at first? Because it's easy. He was beating Hillary Clinton. You know? And, uh, and then I thought, well, heck, you know, he'll put a nail in her political coffin and then we'll get rid of Barack because there's nobody going to vote for somebody with a name like that in America after what happened in 9-11. And yet, now we got both of them. So I, I guess I shouldn't have been hoping like I was. And my dear friends, hope does spring eternal with me. And the title of this book hit me right during the election. And there is hope. And there is a way to get back our constitutional freedoms. And if your sheriffs and your local authorities will stand together against the incursions of the federal government, we can keep this a peaceful process. The fate of our country is in the hands of your county sheriff and local officials. It is not in the corrupt hands of Washington, D.C. politicians. We control our destiny here. We can take a stand. And I'm going to prove to you tonight in what I have to say, and this book is irrefutable proof of what I'm saying. You need to read it, and you need to get it to everybody else that you can. And uh, I have also have a CD, a DVD. This is a DVD, and I'm in my real pretty pink shirt and matching tie. And a company out of L.A., uh, Los Angeles, came and did this interview with me, and they just sent me the tapes yesterday. And so I'd like you to get a hold of these two. And they're, they're on my table right outside uh, as you're leaving, or you can go and get them when we're on break or whenever you want them. But uh, as many of them that, that are there, uh, please purchase them. And then my first book is out there also, uh, From My Cold Dead Fingers. And that book was born out of the lawsuit against the Clinton administration on the Brady Bill. And many of you will remember in 1994 is when I filed that lawsuit. And there was a lot of people that sued Bill Clinton. But you know what? I was the only one in history to sue Bill Clinton on a non-sexual matter. You know? Thank you very much. Um, well, he deserved that. But, uh,